Kom an. There, uh, there's a telephone call for you, sir, on the London line. There is? It's almost midnight. It's Mr Winston Churchill, sir. Yes, sir. Inspector Campbell, I hear there's been a bonfire in your city. There was a small fire reported around nine o'clock, watery lane. Certainly nothing to trouble you about, sir. Ah, but I'm afraid it has troubled me. Half an hour ago, I received a wire communication from the editor of the Birmingham Evening Dispatch. It seems one of his reporters was invited to the fire and discovered that they were burning pictures of the king. Of the king? Any newspaper report which may cause embarrassment to His Majesty is always referred first and as a matter of routine to the Home Office. I will go down there immediately and uh, arrest those involved. No, you most certainly will not make arrests. If there are arrests, there will be trials. If there are trials, there will be more newspaper reports which will necessarily mention the burning of the King's likeness. I put you in Birmingham for one very specific reason. Are you any nearer to finding those stolen guns? We are making steady progress. We need results. Good night, Mr. Campbell. So, <coughs> could I at least ask? Does this report name any of those involved? It names Mr. Thomas Shelby. The report mentions he's a war hero. Good of you to join us. Where have you been all day? In bed. Couldn't sleep. Then I couldn't wake up. Then I was cold and then I had to go for a wee. Then I was with this bear on a boat. That was just a dream. And I was hungry. Why are you reading the paper? Why wouldn't I be? Well, I've never seen you read the paper. I've never seen you light fires with them. The BSA are on strike. Miners are on strike. IRA are killing our boys. Ten a day. What? Stand up. Why? Just stand up. Side on. Polly, what are you doing? Ada. How late are you? One week. Five weeks. Seven if you count weekends. I think it's a lack of iron. I got some tablets. But they didn't work? No. You can get dressed now, love. So am I or not? Keep bloody walking, Ada. If anybody sees us here, they'll know. I'm not getting rid of it, I'll pop. Just come home and we'll talk about it. You get off me or I'll scream it, I swear. Yeah, <laughs> All right, you want to do this on the street? Let's do it. Whose is it? If I tell you, you'll tell them and they'll cut him to pieces. Not if he marries you, they won't. Will he marry you? I don't know. I don't know where he is. Jesus Christ, Ada. Look, he's gone away, but he said he'd come back. Yeah, but they all say they'll come back. He's not like that. He's a good man in promise. He will come back up, Paul. I know he will. <laughs> 